However, Mike Thalassitis' grieving family have now taken down the reality TV star's GoFundMe page. The page was set up in a bid to raise £25,000 for his funeral. The Love Island star's heartbroken family have been hit with double costs following Mike's grandmother dying just days before Mike took his own life. Set up over the weekend, the page had already received a total of £4,815 in just one day after 170 pledged to help. However, the page is now no longer accepting donations at the request of Mike's grief-stricken family, a statement, which was put on the website, explained the reasoning behind it closing down. The page read, Thank you all for your generous donations thus far. I have spoken with Mike's family and while they are grateful for all of the support his friends have given, they have asked to close the GoFundMe at this time. Please be assured the money raised to date will go directly to the family, who intend to open a new page controlled by themselves in due course, all proceeds will then be consolidated and donated to a mental health charity of their choice. While this particular page was created by his close friends, they are concerned that fraudulent accounts could be activated by strangers using their name. It continued, therefore, Please do not donate to any other pages until an official statement has been made by the immediate Thalassitis family within the next week or so. The celebs go dating star was found dead in a woodland he used to visit as a child near his s home. Reports stated the 26-year-old was dealing with spiraling debts and was grieving for his nan who recently d, coupled with his best friend Danny Cutts who passed away on Christmas Eve. For emotional support you can call the Samaritans 24-hour helpline on 116-123, email joe at samaritans.org, visit a Samaritans branch in person or go to the Samaritans website.